Hi everyone, this is Arul Prabhu, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Applications, Kesa College of Arts and Science for Women, Thiruchengur. Uh, we are dealing about the subject data mining and warehousing. In this video, we are just going to have a glance on Unit 3. Let's enter into the topic where this Unit 3 completely deals with the cluster analysis. So, cluster, we will be discussing what is meant by cluster, how various methods of analysis is being done in this. So here we will be saying about the introduction part, what is meant by clustering, what is the need for clustering and various methods of clustering and also various applications of those individual methods in clustering. Entering to the first one, so uh, the clustering definition, before going to the definition, we are just seeing, so data extraction, before extraction, we must need a proper definition for that particular set of data. So here what we are doing is defining as extracting the information from huge set of data and also the patterns used in extracting those data set. So that is what is being dealt in this and coming to clustering definition uh, to say exactly what definition uh, sorry clustering analysis means uh, finding out the group of objects where which these objects are similar to each other in the group but are different from the objects in the other groups. So they don't have relation between the objects in other groups. They will be similar in the same groups. So that is being done here. And in the process of clustering in data analytics, the sets of data are divided into groups and classes. So this is done based on the data similarity. So if you see unsupervised learning and bottom up approach. Coming to this diagram, you can able to see cluster analysis diagram where lot, uh, lot and lot of data is there where the data is being clustered into individual. If you see a red color triangle that is being clustered together separately, the circles are separately clustered and the plus symbol in purple color is being clustered separately. So uh, the various methods of clustering is being listed on here. So five main methods are partition methods, hierarchical methods, density based method, grid based method and model based methods. First coming to the partition methods. So this method classifies the data and information into multiple groups. So this is done based on the characteristics and similarity of those particular data. So it also it, uh, specifies the various number of clusters that has to be generated for the clustering methods. So this uh, particular thing is being done in this and there are many algorithms uh, for partitioning, uh, clustering under partitioning methods. The main algorithm is the k-mean algorithm. It is just a centroid based technique. Then coming to hierarchical methods, so it is just a um, important method and popular method in grouping the objects where these clusters will be represented in hierarchical tree. So uh, using, uh, not using, that process is termed as dendrogram, right? So two main types of hierarchical clusters are agglomerative and divisive. So next coming to the density based methods, it just refers to the method that is based on the local cluster criteria. Uh, just like uh, density connected points. Using this, uh, the density based clustering is processed and two different parameters to calculate the density based clustering is uh, maximum radius of the neighborhood should be considered and the minimum number of points in a neighborhood of that particular point needs to be considered. In coming to grid based methods, so it uses a multi resolution grid data structure. When uh, in previous section we just discussed multi dimensional data. Uh, with the use of multi-dimensional data, the multi-resolution grid data structure is being used. Then the benefit of this method is very faster processing uh, will be done. So time is saved dramatically. Then coming to model based methods, it uh, is a statistical approach to the data clustering where particular model is taken into consideration for analyzing processes. Then coming to um, multivariate data that needs to be taken into consideration where a uh, finite combination of componental models is being used for creating it so then where the each component model is a probability distribution model right i hope you just understood the concepts clearly various uh, definitions and examples will be shown in the next video until then it's a bye from arul prabhu thank you